first step is to unplug the range or shut off the circuit breakers for the range. Electric ranges have two breakers that are often, but not always, connected. Shut off both breakers. Open the door completely and remove the screws from the bottom front lip of the glass cooktop frame. Carefully pull the cooktop assembly slightly forward to release the front lip from the front support bracket. Lift the front of the cooktop to release the frame sides from the support bracket and then pull it forward to release the hinge tabs from the slots in the back guard. Lift the front edge of the glass cooktop and prop it open, placing the prop at the center of the cooktop's front lip where it's most stable. Be careful not to damage the oven insulation when propping open the cooktop. Carefully remove the screws from the front surface elements support bracket. Without disturbing the prop, lower the front elements and bracket onto the oven insulation. Repeat the process to lower the rear surface elements onto the oven insulation. Carefully remove the prop and lift the cooktop assembly up and off the range. Using a slot screwdriver, release each hinge tab from the old cooktop. Bend each hinge tab slot inward to ensure a tight fit and install the tabs on the new cooktop. Place the new cooktop on top of the range and prop it up securely. Attach the rear support bracket and surface elements to the new cooktop. Repeat the process to attach the front surface elements. Carefully remove the prop and lower the cooktop. Tuck the front lip of the cooktop frame under the front support bracket and lower the sides over the ends. Push the cooktop back, inserting the hinge tabs into the back guard slots. Reinstall the mounting screws in the front lip of the cooktop frame. Close the oven door. Plug the power cord into the outlet or turn on the house circuit breakers for the range. If you pulled out the range to unplug it, slide the range into position, ensuring that the rear leveling foot fully connects with the anti-tip bracket 